So, I thought I'd talk to y'all today about a brief and unpleasant interaction with a terrible debater on Twitter, but mostly the ramifications of that. Um, <laughs> so, Kevin Castley can't debate. Uh, he doesn't debate. What he does is he challenges people to come on his channel so that he can talk over them, interrupt them, um, use logical fallacies and a bunch of other non-debate things. And the more he can bulldoze and run roughshod over people, the better uh, debate performance he thinks he did. Uh, I don't respect this kind of piece of shit, um, and there are uh, a lot of them on the internet. And what makes it even less respectable is that he does it in defense of what he admittedly calls being a neocon hawk. And he's even got a fursona of a neocon hawk at this point. It's that much of a brand for him. Uh, he is a pencil-necked... Uh, no physique uh, Canadian uh, who usually wants to order Americans into bloody conflicts. His whole deal is, you know, ordering people in, you know, and saying that this is how it should be, that anarchists are fascist because they don't, uh, and, and so are anti-war people because they don't support the overthrow of fascists. Um, and his whole, like, modus is, I'm going to constantly advocate for these wars, and then when anybody tells me that maybe if I'm advocating for these wars, I should go over there, I should put my own skin in the game and actually understand how war works, uh, I, I'll just link them the one one or more of my videos about like t t trying to self justify not putting skin in the game he has never served he doesn't know the first thing about conflict but he wants to um puppeteer a significant amount of foreign policy mostly of america which is funny because again he's from canada and uh, so it's always funny to occasionally needle people like this. And so when he recently said that trains are bad, and his literal defense of the idea of trains being bad is that they were used in the Holocaust. I'm not making it up. Um, he, he, he was suddenly debating with this guy I've never heard of, and I'm using debating in this loose sense because no, it wasn't. Um, and he's <laughs> very happy with that. Uh, but I'm in his replies where he's announcing it because my, uh, my followers were like, Hey, you should debate him. And, uh, so I, I had a, a few things you know, related to this potential debate. Um, and, uh, basically one of my, JD, he, he, he said, you know, probably it would be on foreign policy. Uh, and then this, uh, Kevin's like, what's his foreign policy? As though I'm a politician with a foreign policy, but you know, whatever. I, I laid it out there, what my foreign policy, I guess, would be, were I a politician. Um, and let me list it out for you now. Non-interventionism, trade and diplomacy over war, no war for resources, no playing regime change, no enforcement of globalist capitalism, or war in the name of stopping communism, no jailing people for speaking, and emphasis on domestic independence. To which he responded, Is this a bit?
because that's what he'll do a lot. He'll say something like, is this a bit? Oh, that's such a meme. I, I, when I was trying to watch his channel for like, to see if, if there was anything salvageably reasonable about it, uh, one of my key points of frustration was how he would just pass things off and go ad hominem and constantly just spew bullshit. And one of the bullshits that he would spew is constantly calling things memes or, you know, in this case, a bit. Like, it doesn't matter what the thing is. Um, he, w he will, if it's not advocating NATO supremacy and, and war hawkishness, he will dismiss it as a meme or a bit or something because he's a piece of fucking shit and he doesn't actually understand anything he talks about. So, um, like, that was already, f like, uh, receiving of, of some sort of positivity in anarchist circles, but then prop or not ID service comes in. He's got like 13,000 followers or she, I don't fucking it. Like it, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is you fash. And, uh, and it's why not peace with Hitler. And it's like a, a March from, <laughs> so no, um, th the precise thing is, you know, the U.S. was partially the reason Hitler rose to power. Uh, anybody who knows anything about the Bush family, which he unironically um, fucking sanctifies, he, he claims that George Bush uh, liberated like 54 million Iraqis from fascism. I'm not making that up. Uh, like, that family got rich and powerful off Nazi steel money and Nazi banking money. The Bush family, Prescott Bush, helped with the Union Banking Corporation uh, to, like, hide German assets and helped uh, move steel for Thyssenkrupp. And there was this massive lawsuit uh, not too long ago where the Bush family had to pay fucking Holocaust survivors because their family uh, was still so somewhat poor while this family, which was partially rich because of Nazi money, um, got to uh, ride itself into the, to the uh, 20th century like with 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 complete impunity you know because these people uh helped the internment camps these people helped the evil fucking nazi people that i'm being accused of supporting because i'm anti war um and so <laughs> So I've I've got uh, some people in in my replies, you know, saying things that actually make sense. But then there's also Charles warmongering for Putin equals non-interventionism. This is probably because of the second thing I said. As an example, don't fund C14 Azov and other Ukrainian Nazis, especially to un unseat a democratically elected leader. Don't continue to do so while the place becomes the roots of the fastest growing global Nazi network. Also, NATO can expand their empire, because Russia bad. That's just fucking true. The Azov movement is the single biggest global Nazi movement, and they have been doing recruiting in your country um, for fucking ever. And, and if you don't believe me, please look up the, the Azov movement. And if you don't believe that the U.S. has been funding people like that, grow a brain and a sense of literacy. Or just 
watch my TikToks about it. I made a fuck ton of TikToks about this subject. One of them was even so lit that TikTok uh, immediately flagged it for hate speech, despite me being against fucking Nazis in it. Um, and then they later reversed their decision and they were like, we're sorry, we value you as a creator, we're sorry, we value you as a creator, we're sorry. So, um, I've been talking about this for, like, so C-14 was a street gang that the U.S. government handed money to and it was like you know sick them uh because they knew that these people would do violence on their behalf Azov is a pack of shit mouth little like nazis uh who only recently removed the sonnenrad and the wolfsangel from their fucking official logo and who one of the first things they did in this war was call Muslim Russians orcs and grease up bullets with lard. So a double entendre there with the lard too because they can get both Jews and Muslims. It's it's just racism. It's white supremacy. Um, so that they could kill these orcs. And there are so many people who regularly just call them orcs on behalf of Ukraine. Just orc this, orc that. So that's who you're dealing with. I can't, I can't fucking hold people's hands so much. I, I can't wait for them to like figure it out. Um, but the, the fucking Ukrainian Nazi problem is fucking real. Okay? It's real! <clears throat> and anybody who doesn't think it's real hasn't looked into it at fucking all. Or they just listened to the mainstream media when the, the, they came in and said, No, that's just Russian propaganda. That, that, there couldn't be a, a Nazi problem that the U.S. helped. Well, yeah, there could. Like, always has been. The U.S businesses that did business with Hitler like AP literal Associated Press the people running fact checks for Facebook literally helped the Nazis propagandize people that's just facts and then they later on went on to apologize for it really badly in you know stupid fucking pieces on their site you can look into this I'm not making this up bear the people who make your aspirin, um, they were uh, directly working with the Nazis. IBM, uh, fucking Hugo Boss, made the Nazi uniforms. Uh, fucking the Bush family. All these businesses that just propped up Hitler. And there's more. There's like a fucking lot more. Okay, and then after the war, uh, NATO had some Nazis in high positions, and the U.S. used Nazis against Russia with organizations like NATO and with organizations like NASA, where they said, we need these Nazi scientists first so that Russia doesn't take them and use their Nazi knowledge. So they gave a bunch of Nazis through paperclip cover. And then only after certain ones of them were found out to be like real scumbags. Um, did people start to say, hey, fuck off. You know, didn't we weren't we supposed to have killed all those krauts? Isn't that what we were there for? No, you no, you you were there to build U.S. empire. I'm sorry to say. Um, the U.S. was massively racist. Any of the political cartoons that they were doing at the time, especially of Japanese people, especially around the time that they were literally intern internment camping Japanese people, um, those would get people canceled these days because it's racism. So 
the fact that it was back then is the only saving grace for people who are willing to be that charitable. I'm fucking not willing to be that charitable at all. The U.S. was a bunch of racist, fascist pieces of shit, and that's why they worked with Nazis. And it wasn't just the uh, few people in high command in NATO. Um, it wasn't just the... Uh, the, the paperclip scientists in uh, NASA and, and, you know, associated programs. It was the Galen Org. <coughs> Where, by the way, I was sick recently, so check the very previous video to see why I'm sounding like this. Um, where Reinhard Galen uh, was helping Nazis escape and giving bad intelligence because the U.S. was like, hey, Galen had an, a Nazi spy network in Russia, and he probably could just hand those people over to us so that we could have a spy network in Russia. And so they did that, but they got exceedingly inconsistent intel until eventually they just, you know, found out that Reinhard Galen was using rat lines that being escape lines uh, from Germany to places like Argentina to let a bunch of Nazis escape. And then suddenly there's Nazi families in South America and, and big-ass storage rooms full of Nazi stuff being found everywhere. Like, there's a shit ton of just Nazis and Nazi clusters everywhere because the U.S. helped them with a global movement. Before it was cool. And now, after all these years, people think it's not going to happen again, or they just didn't know about this stuff to begin with. Well, you do now, and I'm not the Nazi for wanting the U.S. government gone. And I'm not a Nazi for not wanting the U.S.'s Nazi network supported. It's not new. It's a problem that has existed for fucking ever. And the U.S. and NATO have been funding Nazis in Ukraine. And still are. The fa Okay, and also there's that. Like, oh, there's no more Nazis in the Azov movement. Just ignore all the times that candid photos have been taken and there were Totenkopf or Wolfsang or Sonnenrad or you know, any of these number of symbols on them, and just ignore the fact that they only re uh, remove the fucking Sonnenrad and the Wolfsangel from their fucking official insignia recently! You know, ignore the, the fucking... <laughs> ignore the, uh, the, the big-ass Nazi elephant in the room where they were literally using the official Twitter account, the official Ukrainian National Guard Twitter account, the one by, run by official Ukrainian National Guards people, to grease up bullets with lard and cause call Muslims orcs. Fuck you, dude. Calling me fascist? Calling me the guy who's trying to make peace with Hitler? Your guys are doing that! Literally, not not metaphorically, <clears throat> not <clears throat> in a way that's like tieable to something I'm saying, not some loose tangential sort of like uh, fucking sideways way. Your guys are doing that literally. So if you're going to tell me I'm wrong for saying this stuff. Or that I need to be, you know, even keeled by bringing up the Wagner group in Russia. Yeah, sure, fuck them too. I am not a government supporter. I don't support any government. I don't support the one in Russia. I don't support the one in Ukraine. I don't support the U.S. government. I don't support the government of Lithuania or Kazakhstan or, or Botswana. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I am anarchist. I will universally oppose governments because they will universally end up bad for the people. 
But the U.S. just installs right-wingers wherever they want, uh, and usually, like, there's at least partially a justification for going against Russia. And yeah, like, I'm not a fan of, of what Russia is doing, but it's not like Ukraine didn't want in on it. It's not like they weren't taking weapons for conflict this whole time. It's not like their hands were clean because of what their government was doing in the Donbass or what, like how unhealthy and dangerous it was for minorities, especially gender and sexual minorities over there. Like, Pride Month was fucking last month, and you forgot about your pride already, clearly, because we're not allowed to talk about the fact that if you're gay in Ukraine, you stand a risk of getting attacked by a far-right gang. Authentic anti-fascists oppose the Ukrainian government! Authentic anti-imperialists oppose NATO! And I am not sorry for saying that. If it bothers you that I said that, go fuck yourself! Because I am tired. I am sick and tired of dealing with this shit all the time. And I'm sure that there is a bustling undercurrent of people who are sick of it as well. So, with all that being said, uh, you know, if you want me on your channel talking about this, or if you do actually want to debate this, then feel free, you know? I'll bring all my sources. We can have timed segments. We can have um, no interruptions and no logical fallacies. And we can have a nice conversation about why you support Nazis. Because that's exactly what you have to do to support the way things are going down. With all that being said, I am actually back making videos if I can afford rent next month. If you want to help with that, there are links in the description. I've been sick for like a week. So, like, that's what's happened there and the reason that things have been so slim. <clears throat> but even though it, uh, I'm talking with a rasp, even though it's not the most pleasant experience, I'm going to continue making content because that's what I fucking do. And nothing's going to stop me. Except potentially homelessness, we'll see. But um, with all that being said, fuck all Nazis and smash the fucking state. <laughs>